So in this video, I'll show you how to connect your Canon TS6420A or TS5320A or any other Canon printers that are looking just like this one to your iPhone or Android phone. It all works the same way. So how to do this? Very easy. You're going to go on the control panel of your printer. And over here, you're going to notice uh, we have a few buttons. You're going to press OK. And then you're gonna go down with the down arrow until you select Wi-Fi setup, then press OK. And then you're gonna select the first option you see here by pressing OK. Connect to a computer or smartphone, please confirm, press OK again. Processing, please wait. You just have to wait. But in the meanwhile, what you can do is on your smartphone, you absolutely need to, get, to download the Canon app. You need to go on the Play Store or App Store and download the Canon Print app. And when you're done, press open. So this is the app. You may have other printers connected. Maybe it's the first time you're using it. What you need to do next is you go over here, you see add switch. You're going to press it. And then you may have a printer already connected. This is another printer of mine. This is not that one. Maybe your list will be empty. You're going to tap on register printer. If there's nothing on this list over here, you can press if printer cannot be found, this button here. And then press auto connection. And then it will ask uh, if your printer has this button. We actually do. It's this one. So press yes. And then they will say press and hold the button for three seconds, then tap next. So one, two, three, release it, press this, press next. Finally, it found it. You see over here, I get the message print wants to join Wi-Fi network Canon and then a name. And this is my printer over here, TS. 5300 series so I'll press join and then you're going to press yes and then it will finally be added so if printer setup is not complete refer to blah 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 just press close over here because on the screen here you can see easy wireless connect has been completed so press ok and you should get this confirmation as well then you can press this X on your phone over here on the top right corner. Just press X again. They'll just try to sell you stuff. And we're done. You should see your Canon printer right on the top there. So let's start printing. This menu is uh, quite easy to understand. So let's say you want to print a document. Well, just press print document. If you want to scan over here, press scan, photo print, cloud. Let's press document print. Then you need to select document it will ask you to select any documents on your phone let's say i want to print this one this one has two different pages i'll press next next we have the screen just make sure that these settings are okay with you if not just press change settings and here you'll, you'll be able to change them let's say i don't want to have to print both pages and i just want one of them then I will select print range, pages, one to one. I just want the first one. So I'll go back, go back. And then just make sure before pressing print that you actually have some paper installed in the paper tray here or in the other paper tray because these, uh, these printers have two different paper trays and you need to use one of them. So in my case, it is. And also before using it, make sure that this over here is extended because this is where your document will come out of the printer. So when you're ready, just press print. Press OK. And wait. And here we go. Our print just got printed. On our smartphone, the screen is back here. They will ask if I want to read the app. No. And you can go ahead and print again, change the settings, or just press X, and you'll go back in the main menu. So just to show you the print quality over here, really not bad. Now, what to do if you want to scan? Very easy as well. First, open this scan lid. 
let's say you want to uh, scan the paper you just printed, you're going to put it down. And by the way, uh, to know which side you want to put it, the face, the top of the page needs to go over here. And you see there's an arrow right on the corner here. You need to align it. So push the paper so the corner touches this arrow like this. Then close the top lid and on your phone you're going to press scan and you can edit the settings, change settings, you can change if you want it in color, what type of document you want to scan, if it's a document or a picture, you can select here, size, again many choices and when you're ready just press the blue scan button and I can hear the scanner working on right now, just have to wait. Here we go, the scan just appear and here we have um, some options. If you have, let's say, a document with multiple pages, let's say you have another page, well, go ahead and open, take your new page, page number two, put it the same way and press scan. And you can do this as many times as you wish. If your document is 100 pages, well, it will take a long time, but every time you need to open up and then press scan, then do it again. If you're done, just press exit and it will show you over here the results. The scanner is quite good, as you see. This is the page it just printed. Not bad. There is a small button over here and on the lower left side you can press and you can use it as a JPEG or PDF. Obviously, if it's a document, I prefer sharing it on PDF, so I'll select PDF. And here I'll have many, many different options. You can share it on social media, you can airdrop it if you have an iPhone or... And under this, you'll be able to select many other options what to do with the document you just scanned. And when you're done saving it, just press X again, press OK, and that's all. So this is how you scanned using your Canon printer. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to my channel. If you want uh, to purchase new ink cartridges for your Canon printer and want to support my channel, just check the affiliate Amazon links in the description. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.